Are you thinking of building your own Microsoft Teams Rooms workstation and thinking that you're needing Windows IoT Enterprise? Let's talk about that. Lately, we've been getting a lot of requests from people who are wanting Windows 10 IoT Enterprise specifically because they're building their own Microsoft Teams Rooms workstation. Um, and they may not realize that if it's something that they're building for their own internal use, they cannot use the IoT version. In that situation, you're going to have to use Windows 10 Enterprise. And let's talk about that. So looking here at this page that, that Microsoft provides customers explaining to them how to plan out a Microsoft Teams rooms, um, it gives them an overview of the different options and the different components, as well as the licensing and the different items you need to build your own Teams room. Basically identifying, you know, if, you, if you're able to go through this process. Um, and it takes you through the planning and the device selection and stuff. But ultimately, when it comes to the operating system, there's a section here that specifically tells you which version of Windows 10 it supports and which ones it does not support. And uh, this is the key screen here. So right here in the middle, it says Microsoft Teams Rooms requires the Windows 10 IoT Enterprise or Windows 10 Enterprise SKUs under the SAC, Semi-Annual Channel Servicing. The reason for that is it has a connection to the Microsoft Store and it has to get a lot of updates and different features and things from the Microsoft Store. And so, as you can see, it also points out that the these other Windows 10 editions are not supported. And that is your LTSB, LTSC, your Long-Term Service Channel editions, um, as well as Home and, and Pro. So that leads you to only two options right here, Windows 10 IoT Enterprise or Windows 10 Enterprise. Now, what is the difference between those two? Um, technically, they're actually the same product. It's just one is the IoT channel. The IoT channel is just the new word for embedded, which means it's for an embedded IoT dedicated fixed purpose device, which is technically a Teams Rooms workstation does qualify, but who can buy that license? And so I want you to know, I do have a YouTube channel and I have a specifically video on my YouTube channel, which you're obviously watching my YouTube channel, but on my channel, I have a video called, can you buy windows IOT enterprise? And so for customers that are dealing with this team's room workstation scenario, and you're trying to figure out if you can buy this product, that video is, is a key one to watch, but I'll give you a brief overview um, as to why. The other video on the channel that you might want to check out is um, Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC versus Windows 10 IoT Enterprise. Um, and it would be very similar if we just removed LTSC off of that, right? Obviously, LTSC is the long term and it, it says that, that version isn't supported. But my video basically tells you the difference between the IoT and the non-IoT version which I'm going to do for you as well right now. So to buy the IoT Enterprise version, you have to be an OEM that manufactures, builds, and sells and supports dedicated fixed purpose appliances. Um, if you're building a Teams Rooms workstation for your own internal company use, that doesn't qualify. Um, and typically in those cases, you're not an OEM that manufactures uh, devices you're just a company that's trying to build one of these machines for your own internal conference room, right? And that means you don't qualify. Um, and certainly, you know, if you happen to be the on the other end of that spectrum, which means you are an OEM that's wanting to build these Teams Rooms workstations, well, then you definitely qualify and you want to reach out to us here at Arrow and we'll take you through that process. But if you're not, then that leads us to the other option, which is Windows 10 Enterprise which strangely enough is technically already end of life um, and is only available through the volume channel as a pretty expensive upgrade. The last time I checked, this upgrade was a $295 upgrade. And in that channel, 
there were minimum quantities of five that you had to buy. It also, because it's an upgrade, the machine you're loading on already has to have a Windows Pro license on it. So if you're building a system from scratch, you're going to have to buy a Windows 10 Pro or a Windows 11 Pro OEM license to give it a full OEM license. And then you would buy the Windows 10 Enterprise upgrade as a volume upgrade. Things get more tricky because the volume channel was retired at the end of um, 2021, actually. And everything was pushed through CSPs or cloud solution providers. Uh, and th so you're gonna have to reach out to someone like a CDW, Insight, Soft Choice, Ingram Micro, uh, TD Cynix, um, those guys that sell the volume general purpose licenses. Reach out to them um, and talk to them about Windows 10 Enterprise. That's the product you're gonna need for internal use. Uh, and that's really the difference. Otherwise the products are the same. Uh, identical. I will say on the IoT side, the non-LTSC version, which is also called SAC or GAC, General Availability Channel, that product actually goes end of life October 31st, 2023. So there's technically only seven months left at the time of making this video of that product being available, at which point you'd have to move to Windows 11 enterprise and then downgrade um, because I don't see that uh, Teams Rooms workstation, you know, Teams Rooms workstations are supporting Windows 11 at this time. So if you have questions on this subject matter and want to talk further, reach out to us here at Arrow um, to uh, windowsiot at arrow.com. We will uh, talk to you soon. See ya.